The National Assembly will tomorrow resume for its final session before the August 8th general election. Among the items on the Parliament's entry is the passage of the next financial year's budgetary estimates. But as our reporter Marimi Mwangi now tells us, Parliament could be staring at a quorum hitch as most of the elected legislators are already busy on the campaign trail. With only five months to transact the legislative business before the indefinite adjournment of parliament in early June ahead of the August 8th general election, the National Assembly will be racing against time to pass 20 crucial bills. Among these are the Division of Revenue Bill, the County Allocation of Revenue Bill, the Finance Bill and the Appropriations Bill which are mandatory for the passage of the budgetary estimates for the coming financial year. Already uh, the budget policy statement for 2017-2018 has been approved by the House. Uh, we expect the Minister of Finance to table the budget estimates, both revenue and expenditure, latest by next week, Tuesday. Unlike in yesteryears, when the budget-making process ended in June, this time round, the legislators will be under pressure to pass the budget estimates for the 2017-2018 financial year by April, when political campaigns are expected to reach a fever pitch. This, as Treasury raised fears of billions of unutilized allocations to the 47 counties in the past financial year on Monday, with observers raising fears of possible diversion of public funds to the 2017 campaigns. We expect the Minister for Finance and the Controller of Budget to make sure that the remaining seven months they control the if system, they control the budgetary allocations and make sure that public resources are not lost during or are not misused during the electionary period. But with most political parties set to hold their nominations as early as next month, Parliament could be staring at quorum hitches as most current sitting legislators are already embroiled in fierce campaigns ahead of the primaries, which in some areas will be akin to the main general election. The country's electoral agency, IEBC, will also be keenly watching Parliament's calendar for a timely and speedy passage of any regulations touching on the 2017 elections. Among them will be regulations to be drafted by the IEBC together with the National Assembly Justice and Legal Affairs Committee to facilitate implementation of the recent acrimonious amendments to the electoral laws. The new law allows the IEBC to revert to a manual backup system in instances where electrotechnology fails. Muremi Mwangi, KTN News in Nairobi.